Hi everyone. I have a unboxing for you today. Uh, actually, I have double unboxing and I have two boxes right here. I am going to unbox these items for you. It's all, it's going to be a quick unboxing because I already have uh, items in the same style, but just different color. Um, so let's get right into this unboxing, guys. So one of these items is supposed to be from coach well they're both coach items but one is actually from coach and one is from macy's but both of these boxes look like uh coach boxes so i don't know what's going on when i went on my when i went on macy's.com it seems to be they say it's delivered but it, these boxes look like this look like the coach outlet box actually so unless i ordered more things without even realizing but let's go ahead and unbox this oh yeah this does look like the coach uh outlet box but this item is actually from macy's which is kind of weird because the box is this is not a macy's box Okay, which is okay all right that is actually kind of weird but anyway this is from me i've ordered this from macy's and um i don't know if you could tell but is the this is a tally bucket bag but this is in the chalk color and i got this item because this week or yeah this week the end of last week into this week these bags were a hundred and thirty four dollars and I wanted the chalk color for a while, if I can figure out how to open it. I wanted the chalk color for a while, but I didn't want to pay full price. I wanted to wait until they had a sale. And I I don't think I could ever get a sale as low as 100 maybe, you know. You never know, because sometimes it doesn't go on sale. But it's, it's packaged really nicely, really, really nicely. And um, it's from macy like i mentioned before but i don't know why it's in that box it's not a macy's box and this is the chalk tally bucket bag and i and i could tell already tell that it has both straps maybe they're doing a little better with uh shipping their items out uh packaged really nicely but i have both straps here and I'm looking it over guys, but so far it looks like it's in good condition. I don't see any immediate issues or problems. And you know what? Let me get inside of the bag. Look the, the bag. Yeah, it's uh everything looks good. Comes with the the coach little thing here and everything so far so good i don't see any major issues any problems right now everything looks good everything is packaged and i could tell we have the straps right here you know what let me make sure we have straps and not just a strap yeah, I could tell, that, yeah, this is actually both straps right here. Uh, I could see the leather strap. And I'm going to look it over later to make sure everything is good. But so far, it looks pretty good. And like I mentioned, it's it's night. It's 8.52. Right now on December 8th. Yep. 8.52, December 8th at 8.52 p.m. Um... And I just got this in the mail today, and it looks pretty good. And I'm gonna put it right here. Remove all this stuff. So, like I mentioned, it's not. I'm not gonna do. I'm not gonna take a long time to do this unboxing because these are items that I already unboxed. Is they're just in different colors, and um, I always have a scissors. I, I need. I know. I know it's not the best thing to open these boxes, but. Uh, it works for me, so 
and I have, you know, kids so I always have scissors laying around because they're always doing project. My, believe it or not, my 16 year old daughter, she likes uh, knitting and crocheting and stuff like that. So she always have uh, scissors and stuff like that laying around. Let me figure out how to open this box. Okay. Hold on. What am I doing here? I think I already cut the tape, but. Guys, I can't open the box. That's not good. That is not good. I can't open this box. I think I need to cut the tape a little bit more. That's the problem. Yep. I think I just need to cut the tape a little bit more. Oh, here we go. I don't know why this box is this big because this item is not as big. I don't get why this box is so big. So, this is what's in the box. And I could definitely, this could definitely fit two items. But anyway, let's get on with this. Let me show you what it is. Okay, so I already had this. I returned it, returned this item. Regretted returning this item. But when it went on sale, it went on sale for a ridiculous price. I could not resist. And I thought I didn't need it. But once it went on sale for the price that was my kind of price, I thought, why not? You know? So hopefully, we're going to see this together. Hopefully, it's in really good condition because I could already see that it's not packaged at all. And I, it said, when I ordered it, it said it was back ordered. And then a few days later, I got it. So here we have it, guys. Like, you know, I feel like, <laughs> is it possible? I think it's possible that they could have sent me the same item I returned. <laughs> because, I, I, you know, it's, it's, it's I know I sound crazy, but um, it looks really good for an item that... Um, it does look like a return. I'm not going to lie. But I did return the one that I bought without the thing, without the um, packaging on the strap. Because I thought I loved it. I really liked it. But with the dark hardware and I was trying not to go with dark hardware anymore. I decided to return because I already have uh, quite a few medicine. Oh, if I have mentioned it, this is the pillow medicine in the chambray color. Already unboxed this on my channel. I did return it because I already have a couple of other pillow medicines. Actually, I have one pillow medicine. Oh, you know this bag doesn't stand up. Oh, it's stand up for the first time, guys. I have one pillow medicine. I have one quilted medicine. And not well, now I have two pillow medicine because I thought. Maybe I have too much uh, bags in the same family. So that's why I returned that one because I, you know, the dark hardware for me, I'm trying not to do the dark hardware. But once this went on, on sale and then you got an extra 25% off, I end up paying $222 for this bag. And I thought, okay, guys, I cannot just say no to this bag. It's really nice and I'm going to open it so just to make sure everything is in place looks pretty good looks pretty good everything looks good guys except for the fact that you know this is not packaged but i don't i don't you know it doesn't bother me as long as the item comes in good condition they have no packaging on the inside i feel like they should have at least put a little bit of packaging on the inside you know, I, the, uh, that's what I think they should at least try to make it look like presentable. And I've always said that, you know, make the item presentable if you're if it's a return and you're sending it out to somebody else. At least put some packaging on the inside because it's just going to come and it's going to be some a squishy bag. Have nothing, you know. So that's my take on that and this is my unboxing and like i said i already unboxed this item so i'm trying my best not to go 
you know, to, to, to talk a lot about this item because I, when I, I did my coach collection, uh, well, now I could add this to my collection, my updated collection. But when I did my collection, I showed my three Madison bags. And now I'm back to having four Madison bags. So this is my quilted Madison. These are my pillow Madison. This is just the regular Madison. And recently I saw that they had the um, signature Madison on the website. It keeps on popping up and going off and I keep on looking at it. And I'm like, mm, I definitely don't need another one. Because like I said before, there is so much new bags that's coming out. I don't think I want to get stuck with one style. And it's not really getting stuck. But you know what I mean. I don't want to just have one style of bag when there's so many new bags. And I'm starting to realize that a lot of my bags are similar shape bags. So I want to go out and get bags that um, are different. Not just the same shape bags all the time. You know, this bag doesn't really stand up. But what I do, oh, by the way, let me tell you. What I do with these bags, because they don't really stand up, I get maybe a... Uh, you know the thing the foam or something that it comes with and i put it like more towards the front so when it goes when it, it sits on here it's pretty much hidden when the, when it sits on the piece of foam that's here the foam is hidden but the back stands up pretty nicely it just you don't need to put it to the back because it always tips over towards the front see tips over mostly towards the front so i normally get just a uh, small piece of um foam and just put it on the shelf that i put it on or a piece of cardboard and just fold it it's pretty much hidden under and then i just put the bag on it so when the bag is trying to tip over it doesn't tip over because it mostly tips to the front and i put it thicker when i fold it and make it thicker in the front part so uh enough rambling guys i know i'm going crazy so i hope you enjoyed this unboxing even though i already unboxed several items in the same family and this make number four in the tally bucket bag i'm not getting another one i'm def definitely not getting another one because now i have four and i I don't like to have, you know, a lot, a lot of the same bags, a lot of the same styles. And now I have four bags in the same exact style. And I have four bags in the Madison as well. So I'm done with the Madisons and I'm done with this. I'm done getting more. That's what I mean. I'm done getting more Madison. I'm not getting any more and I'm not getting any more tally bucket bags either. Um my next video probably going to be something completely different that nobody's going to expect let's see let's see i'm um, fingers crossed i'm hoping but um thank you guys so much for watching and i really hope you enjoy this video um let me show them again you know i gotta stuff the madison i mean i gotta yeah both of them i gotta stuff tally and the madison so it's not super squishy and um here we have it guys thank you so much for watching i really hope you enjoyed this video because i really like to show my items as soon as i get them because i get excited as i always say so anyway i'll see you guys in the next one i hope you are having a great evening morning whenever you watch the video and i really appreciate everybody for stopping by and appreciate everybody that like subscribe and just continue to support my channel thank you guys and uh, have an awesome rest of your day morning evening goodbye i'll see you later bye guys